state's civil asset seizure and forfeiture law take effect. Now this is the process that lets law enforcement claim cash and property alleged to be tied to crime, even when someone hasn't been convicted. Fact finder investigator Sean Logging takes a look at the impact of these changes now and speaks with a McPherson man who after three and a half years got his car back. A more level playing field. That is how these newly enacted changes to the state's law are described by someone who works these cases. It comes after years of work trying to find a balance between law enforcement and people's rights. People like Jeremy Selhorn, who in May got a court order getting him his car back. He hadn't seen that car since a traffic stop in November of 2020. Currently sitting in an auto shop's lot, but it's his again. Uh, it's a huge win. Um, I've been listening to naysayers for years say, your car's gone. Jeremy Selhorn says along the way. And it's all attributed to, you know, my partner, Erin. You know, she did a lot of the work. He was ready to give up on getting his 86 El Camino back. Well, I wanted to be the cool car dad for my son. Jeremy was pulled over almost four years ago in McPherson County, arrested on charges of driving without a license and possession of meth. They informed me that they were going to keep my car for asset forfeiture. And I was, I was blown away. I knew what it was, but like, um, it was a very distant threat. In the criminal case, he pleaded no contest to the possession charge, and the others were dismissed. He completed probation last year, and even then, still didn't have his car back. It wasn't until this spring a judge ordered the car returned. Punishment should not outweigh the, the penalty of the, of the crime you're you know, charged with. That was all before this week when a new law took effect, changing the state's civil asset seizure and forfeiture laws. Deck was stacked against a great majority of Kansans. These forfeiture reforms are significant because it now definitely changes the way People can bring these cases and, and it gives them the ability to fight back against the government. Last year, state and local law enforcement departments seized more than $3.9 million in cash and property. What was forfeited totaled more than $2.3 million. Departments in half of Kansas counties reporting an incident. But when it comes to forfeiture cases, most go uncontested. Last year, nearly 70%. It didn't make sense to pay an attorney $5,000 to get $3,000 cash back. Under the new law, simple possession and use of drugs would no longer qualify for seizure and forfeiture. Law enforcement would have a shorter window to request forfeiture to just 14 days, and the bar to prove that case is significantly higher. We think and we hope that the types of cases that would have been brought before these changes just aren't gonna be brought now. Changes Jeremy is welcoming. That was pristine and spotless. After the experience in getting his car back. Batteries missing. Although now it needs repairs before he can drive it again. It's gonna be like a victory lap. Another change in the law, if people win more than half of their property back, the government will pay for their attorney fees. Historically, forfeiture has been used to fund police operations, equipment, prevention programs, and more.